can't believe August is upon us already. July has just gone by like that. But it's usually the way, of course, when one has summer holidays. <laughs> you know, I find the weeks go quite quickly when I'm working, but they absolutely fly by when I'm not. So, um, but, you know, a new month means new books to read. Hello, everyone. Welcome to and welcome back to my channel, Book Time with Elvis, with me, Mark. And I hope you're doing very well indeed. Also, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my wonderful patrons, as you can see here. And if you would like to join this wonderful company of people, then you can do so by exploring the link down below. So, it's August. And last year, we ran August of Adventure. This year... I will, but very, very informally. All I'll do is encourage you to read um, some kind of adventure work, be it non-fiction or fiction. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, the reason why I suppose we're not really running it properly this year is given Sean D. Stanfast's situation. Uh, I think he hasn't got much time to do anything with that. Um, it's also Faulkner in August as well. So I thought I'd do a kind of mashup. And I'll do Faulkner in August of Adventures. Now, before Alan, a big hard books and classics, gets too excited, I'm not actually talking about William Faulkner. Instead, I am talking about John Mead Faulkner and his book Moonfleet, which is one of my picks for August of Adventure that I'm going to read. Now, I have rather a small offering this year, or this, this month, I should say, in terms of books, because normally I come in with piles and piles and I barely manage to read, you know, three, five of them, maybe. And so I've only gone for five definites. Now, there may be more books that pop in and out during the course of the month, but these five are absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt going to be read in the month of August. And this, as I say, is uh, kind of the main one, because I like the play on Faulkner or Falkner. <laughs> uh, probably you know it, it's quite famous if you don't I'll just give you a quick thing off the back Orphan John Trenchard grows up in the village of Moonfleet entranced by the local legend of the ghostly Blackbeard who rises each winter night to search for his lost diamond while conducting his own hunt for the treasure John stumbles upon the true secret of the village smuggling taken under the wing of the gruff innkeeper and chief smuggler Elsevier Black John begins a new adventure which will see him in a hair-raising chase along a precarious cliff path and deciphering a hidden code in an ancient castle. Moonfleet is a thrilling story of revenge and betrayal, of loyalty and great sacrifice, and above all, a story about friendship. So that sounds awesome. I, I have come across it before. I want to say I read it years ago as a kid, but I remember it being small, and maybe I just read one of those children's uh, versions. Um, now... The adventure continues because the Patreon uh, book club pick uh, was picked actually before I got on Patreon when I still had the other account, my one and only subscriber there, uh, Grace, she uh, came up with a suggestion so I've carried it through to Patreon this month and then next month I'll throw it open again to all the other members to decide next month's read. But it's The Black Corsair by Emilio Salgari. Uh, which is an 1898 adventure novel about pirates. So that sounds pretty cool too. Uh, I don't have a physical copy of that. I'll be reading it on ebook, and uh, you know you can read it too. It's in the public domain, so why not? Uh, another book I don't have a copy of is some um, nonfiction, uh, which is uh, The Wager by David Gran. Uh, I think that will also be a good adventure read. I've got that on ebook, so I plan to read that as well. And sticking with the nonfiction, uh, this time uh, not really an adventure, although I suppose there's adventure in it, uh, but it is more for Historathon, which is a wonderful year long event run by uh, Vin from Revenant Reads and a plethora of other amazing hosts. I'm going to be reading Catherine the Great and Potemkin by Simon Sabag Montefiore, which is following. Uh, the lives of these two very intriguing and illustrious people from 18th century 
Russia. So that should be great. And the last book, uh, which is very much in the realm of August Adventures and sticking with my uh, year-long challenge of reading uh, one French classic work a month, uh, this month I'm going to be reading the tree, the tree. <laughs> I've got Czech on my mind there, because uh, three in Czech is tree. Uh, the Three Musketeers by Alexandre Dumas. Uh, and probably I don't need to tell you about that because everybody knows what that's about. But believe it or not, it's actually the first time of me reading the full version. I would have read, of course, abridged or children's versions and seen God knows how many film versions of it. But it's the first time I'm going to be reading the complete novel. So I'm really looking forward uh, to that. So there we have it. Those are my definites for August. Now, I may make videos now and again if other things pop in and out. Uh, because, for example, um, the Women's World Cup readathon is going on. And I don't know what I'm going to read because I don't know what my team's going to do. My team's Japan. And up to the point of making this video, they've won everything. So I haven't had to read anything extra. But unless they go on and win the whole thing, I would at some point have to add something in during the course of August uh you know to 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 uh um to fit in with the competition by uh you know uh having to read something from a country that beats japan if that happens of course they could go on and win it and that would be wonderful but i have to be realistic and think that might not happen so there we go please let me know in the comments below what you're reading i look forward ever so much to seeing that and I wish you all a wonderful day. Do take care of yourselves and bye for now.